Hi everyone, it's Shredage again, and today we'll be solving problem number 8. Here we have the problem. Find the greatest product of 5 cons uh, consecutive digits in the 1000 digit number. This gigantic, disgusting number. So, we know that the main thing we're going to be doing in this problem is figuring out how to get these groups of 5 consecutive digits. But in the end, this problem is pretty simple. So let's get started. I'm going to start by cop copying this big 1,000 digit number as a string. So I'm going to have val num equals to, and I'm going to use triple quotes because since this number is going to have uh, separate lines, I need to use triple quotes because with double quotes, uh, you can't use uh, you can't use uh, multiple lines. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to end this with another triple quotes. So now I'm going to start by creating a way to get the product of five uh, of these of five consecutive numbers. Actually, I'm going to create an implementation that will let it for any number of numbers, but in our case, we're going to be using it to calculate the product of five consecutive numbers. So I'm going to have def product, and it's going to take the number for which you want to calculate the multiplication of all its digits of type string. So I'm going to have, and I'm, but I'm going to call it num since we have multiple numbers. And then what it's going to equal to is, for, uh, for, uh, first I want to ca uh, calculate all of the characters in my string. I want to calculate their, uh, I want to convert them into integers. And to do this, we can think of a string as an array of characters. So arrays have many methods like uh, map, filter, so we can use those methods uh, to calculate all of the characters as numbers. So we can do nums and we can use a method we've seen before called map. And what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the number uh, the number we're looking at as a digit. So underscore dot as digit. So the reason we can use underscore is that we only have one parameter in this function and we're only using it once. So instead of doing A to A or B to B, we can just do underscore. And another way to think of it is whenever you run this function, you're going to fill in the blank where the underscore is. So now we've calculated all of the characters as numbers. And now we need to find the product using dot product. So now that we've figured out how to calculate the product of, in our case, five consecutive numbers, now we need to figure out how we can calculate these groups of five consecutive numbers, and then from that, calculate the product of all of them, and uh, calculate the product for each of them, and then find the maximum out of those. So what I'm going to do is def max consecutive product and what I'm going to do is first I'm going to take an uh, n of type int which is going to be how many uh, what is the size of the group so in our case we're going to be passing 5 for n and then we're also going to be taking our num which is going to be of type string and this is going to be the number that we're looking at to find the max consecutive product so now what we're going to do is, first, we need to calculate all of these groups of five numbers. So to do that, we can use a method called sliding. So I'm going to start off, and since we're going to also calculate the product uh, of for all of these uh, groups, I'm going to call it sliding product. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my num of type string, and I'm going to run sliding on it. And basically what sliding does is you're going to create a window and 
at you're gonna our window is going to be the size it's the width is going to be the size you pass it and basically what we're going to do is we're going to place it on top of our string and then what what it's going to do is it's going to get you all the numbers you can see and then it's going to slide it so basically what we're going to do is we're going to keep on sliding it over, get those groups, and that's going to be our uh, the groups of five consecutive numbers. So here the size is going to be n. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to map them. So map each group to its product. And we, uh, we're going to do product of underscore. And since we're... Pa uh, we're we're running a method that takes only one parameter and that parameter is underscore we don't even need to do the product underscore we can just do product and now what we're going to do is we're going to find the maximum for sliding product by doing sliding product dot max so now I'm going to run here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run max consecutive product uh, actually I'll print it so we're gonna print our answer and our answer is gonna be max consecutive product our uh, the length of our group is gonna be 5 and our num is gonna be num and that's your answer. So let's run it. And you get our answer. 40824. I'll be creating my next video in which we'll solve Euler 9 really soon. And I'll see you there. Bye.